Okay, we're back with another game. This one called Cabin. So, just be a short horror game. So let's see what it's all about. Well, I kind of know what it's all about. I wonder where I should park. I don't want to venture in too far. Do, I'll need do, some place to put my tent. Do, do, There's a trail. Do, do. What's the sign say? Oh, oh. What the heck was that? This is why you don't take your eyes off the road, kitties. Anyways, like I was saying, I kind of know what this is all about. But I thought it'd be fun to give my own commentary on it. Eee. Yes, grab the flashlight. Oh, I can move now. Okay. I should check my tires. Well, that tire's good. That tire's good. Oh no. I should get the gear from the bed of my truck and camp for the night. Are you Are you sure that tire's totally boned? And are you sure you don't want to just call a tow truck tonight? Might be a wiser idea. I mean, look at what happened to the last dude who uh in Siren Head who didn't who thought he could handle shit on his own. Did not end well for him. Okay, forward. To turn off the truck. Oh yeah. Nah, no, let's just let it run out of gas. Turn off engine. That sounded like he turned it on. Whatever, dude. Oh, uh, look at all the stars. Alright, I don't think there's anything that way. You probably just says. That trail I saw yeah, that's probably what he says if you go the other direction. There it is. The sign. Communal cabin up ahead. This must be one of those cabins that hikers share. We gotta check it out. Do you have to check it out, though? Man, it's dark. No shit, Sherlock. A Sasquatch? Is that a shadow? Or am I seeing things? It's a Sasquatch. It's your imagination because you're on LSD and you really shouldn't have been driving. Right there. Oh, it looks like somebody's inside already. I run into a tree. Yep, I ran into a tree. I'm a good gamer. I run into trees oh, and shit. Is anyone there? Man, it's getting colder out here. Cause it's winter. Someone must be using the cabin. Really? The fire's on. Maybe they left to grab firewood. Is your name Captain Obvious? I think I should just go inside. I'm sure they won't mind since the weather's getting bad. Are you done talking? Dialoguing your your inner thoughts. Shaken up from the tire pulling out on me. A snack will help calm me. Yeah, it says he's shaken up, but he doesn't sound like Which it. Do I want? His tone does not change at all. You want dark chocolate. Shove it in your mouth, wrapper and all. Let's put it down there. No, no, let's put it down there. Okay. This is not a communal cabin. There's one bed. Someone's... They keep saying that word, but it does not mean what I think, what they think it means. Look at all these dirty dishes. Is that a steak on that plate? Why are these not cleaned? Where is the woman of this communal cabin? That is a joke. Oh look, this person is doing drugs too. How do I interact with shit? Or do I just have to wait for cues to pop up?
You know, my buttons don't seem to do much of anything. Ah, there we go. Read notes. <clears throat> You're not going to narrate with your emotional voice? Fine. I will. I don't know what that is, but there's some kind of bear out there that is trying to kill me. Because it's hungry. Please, whoever's reading this, be sure to call for help. Because I cannot do this alone, and I might as well die in here. Just be careful out there. It might come after you next. Bob. Dear Jessica, I'm sorry if I haven't really been in touch with you. I've been busy doing the hunt with the deputy for this monster. How are the kids? Tell them daddy says hi and I'll be home shortly. Love, Jason. Boogie man. Something's outside. Well, there we go. He had a little bit of motion there. So now what we do is... We don't open the door. See, this is mistake. We're probably past mistake number one. We're on like mistake 20 billion. It's because the first mistake was not calling a tow truck. It's just getting the hell out of there. But no one says characters in horror games are smart. In fact, if they were smart, it probably wouldn't be a very good game. Yes, take your flashlight. Go outside and investigate. What? See, this is where you go back inside. Oh man, it won't even let me. That's funny. I'm like pushing back and moving the mouse around and it will not let me go back inside. You like have to go forward. I'm like, who in their right mind would go forward seeing this much blood? Maybe like, damn, this person's out of blood. But yeah, let's let's keep following the blood. Oh my god. Oh yeah. It's Winnie the Pooh. He did not get his honey. Can I move? Let me go past. Look at all it gets. Yeah, step in it. Well, there went the chocolate bar we ate. Now he says it. Oh, the trollings have gotten really good right now. So you're into the monster. I like this music. It's very classic horror music. Yeah. So. All right, let me get out of this shiznit. So yes, that was Cabin, another short and sweet horror game, which like I said, I've seen Others play it before, so I knew what to expect. I just wanted to play it and give my commentary on how stupid I think these characters are. Like, seriously, you see that much blood and you go and investigate without any weapons? What? You just, you deserve to die at that point. I will say it was quite, quite cool at the end when, like, he's like, I gotta escape, and then, like, the controls got really wild, like really panicky and that was very very cool because it fit with like if you were actually in that situation you would be freaking the hell out anyways and you would be stumbling so the controls were very on point for that the voice acting was okay it's just very little emotion it was all flipped and just stating the obvious like this so 
but overall it was a fun little game so if you like this video and want to see more like it hit subscribe and ring the bell and all that lovely wonderful stuff and i will see you on the next level bye